So today, I'll talk about the compartments of the upper limb and the muscles of the upper limb. Starting off with the compartments. So when we say compartments of the limb, we're talking about fascial compartments. Fascia is connective tissue, and within the limbs, there are sheets of fascia that split it into different parts. And this picture here just shows the upper arm. It shows how there are two compartments. So there's a fascial layer here. There's an anterior compartment where you can see the biceps and brachialis, and a posterior compartment where you can see the triceps. These are quite useful in that they split things in terms of um, the neurovascular supply. So usually there is a given nerve that will supply each compartment and a given vessel that will supply it. So that's artery and vein. And it also separates the muscles. Knowing the fascial compartments well will allow you to understand what muscles are in each compartment and what those muscles do. The upper limb, so the arm, has five compartments. And those five compartments are the two in the upper arm, the two in the forearm, and the one in the, in the hand. So there's the upper anterior arm, the upper posterior, the lower anterior, lower posterior, and the intrinsic muscles of the hand. I'll revisit this table again and again, and eventually you'll get a grasp of what the basics are. Mm -hmm.